Hey everyone, it's Martika LA and I'm back with another What I Ate in a Day video. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one, so here's another one. I eat this way to stay trim and in shape and healthy, so I hope you enjoy what I'm going to show you now. So when I wake up in the morning, I always, most days, crave some fruit or a juice. So today I'm having a green juice and I just juice a whole cucumber, loads of spinach, which is great for protein, and a couple of apples. So I just cut up my fruit and my vegetables to fit my juicer. I have a whole pre a cold press, that's it, cold press juicer, which more or less takes the whole fruit, but I just cut it up just to make the process easier for myself. So once everything is cut, I just pop them in and I start with the cucumbers. I start with all the green first because I'm funny with colors. <laughs> And then I go in with my spinach and I just use the whole lot, literally the whole lot. Spinach is so good for you, amazing protein. And then I go in with my apples for my sweetener. This is one of my favorite juices to make. It's so good. It tastes really good. I'm not a fan of drinking or eating things that don't taste good. So trust me on this. It's good. I had about two cups. Now about 10 minutes after, I went in and I had some dates and dates are great source of fibre and they're really good for you and they taste like caramel, like who doesn't want caramel in the morning, right? I had about 5 or 6 of these, these are literally like sweets to me so I take these everywhere for snacking on with me. Now let's get into some lunch and I eat around 12, 12.30 give or take. These chips are homemade so all I did was take some potatoes and some seasoning like sea salt, paprika black pepper so to make these into chips I just slice them in half slice them in half again thinly slice them to how thick I want them and just slice them again it's pretty easy I'm pretty sure everybody knows how to make chips <laughs> So once all your chips are sliced, you're just going to want to put them into a bowl and then start mixing. Add all your seasonings and mix. Mix with your hands. You know, food tastes better when you mix with your hands, I think. Anyway, <laughs> I added some mixed herbs, I decided. Um, so I just mix again with my clean hands. Make sure your hands are clean. And then I just lined a pan with some greaseproof paper. Spread out my chips and then I added a bit of canola oil, that's optional, you don't have to use oil. I just used a little bit because I like my chips a tad bit more crispy. And then I just put it in my oven on medium to high heat for about 40 minutes. So let's just make our salad and pretty easy, just some rocket, some lettuce, tomato, half a tomato and then I just chop up some onion. Pretty straightforward. Just don't cut yourself. <laughs> I'm Greek, so I can't have my salad plain, sorry. I use olive oil, sea salt, and some vinegar, and I just mix it. I don't use a lot of oil, just a little bit. Then just fill your plate. Don't be scared of carbs, guys. Don't be scared of carbs, carbs are good. I also had some of my mum's Turkish rice. She made some homemade tomato Turkish rice, made from buckwheat. Uh, then I added my vegan mayo, and some hot sauce, and some tomato ketchup, and I'm set. That's my lunch. And if you make too much chips, then just put it in a Ziploc bag and store it in the freezer for later. Now for my snack and oh my gosh, I love this smoothie so much. Banana date smoothie. Ugh. I had three ripe bananas. They're pretty small, so that's why I had three. And oh, I just love this so much. <laughs> I had about five pitted medjool dates. And then I added some of my unsweetened almond milk, organic, of course and I added some water. That's it, as simple as that. So easy, so quick, and oh, I swear. Try this smoothie. You think you don't like dates until you've tried this smoothie. It tastes like caramel, okay? So I just sieve out all the bits and pour it into my cup. Let me tell you, this is probably one of my favorite things to eat. Drink, whatever you want to call it. It's so filling and so satisfying. Now onto my dinner and yeah, 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 you look at that. You look at this burrito right now, girl. <laughs> Fully loaded. Just make sure that you have your rice done. I used brown rice for this. So I'm about to show you how I make my famous beans, okay? I always make my stuff from scratch. I don't use packets. Follow my lead. 
you will never go back to packets again after you try this okay add your water and just let it simmer then add your red kidney beans some cumin some sea salt some paprika some mixed herbs and just mix it all up i also added some coconut palm sugar so an extra topping i use some peppers so i slice some green bell peppers slice some red bell peppers or whichever bell peppers you have in your home i cut up some mushrooms this is fully loaded i'm going in i'm not playing I'm not playing games okay and some onion so i just add this to my pan with some water and then i just fry oh yeah and i add some sea salt and a bit of pepper also then i just let it simmer until it's soft so now let's get our wrap this is just a normal wheat tortilla wrap i ain't scared of carbs like i told you before look how much rice i put on then i just bang on my beans then my peppers like i told you i ain't scared I'm not scared of food then i just add on my homemade guac i don't think i'm ready to share that recipe with you yet <laughs> So look at my wrapping skills. What? Chipotle who again? And I'm actually going to show you that I eat this. I do eat this. So just enjoy my bites because this is real life. I make the best burritos. I don't even care. After this, usually I'll just snack on some fruit maybe or nuts. And also throughout the day, I'll be drinking heaps of water. But there's no point in me filming that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I have inspired even more of you to eat healthier and maybe try to follow a healthier lifestyle, eat more whole foods. You can take a recipe from this and incorporate it into your diet. And if you do, let me know. Make sure to follow my healthy lifestyle page at Lua Naturel on Instagram for some daily food inspo. Mwah.